I get a text from my sick father. It's 627. He's telling me to come home as soon as I can. I decide to stay a minute longer. It's 628. A minute won't hurt. It won't make me late. I call my father to tell him I'm on my way. It's 629. All I hear is ragged breathing on his end of the line. The other cars seem to be moving too slow. It's 6.30. This frustrates me because I'm in a hurry. If I could only get there in time, it's 6.31. I could do whatever needs to be done. I step on the gas pedal. It's 6.32. I'll even beat a red light if I have to. Now I keep chastising myself. It's 6.33. I should have left early, I should have left early. I finally get to our house. It's 6.34. I see my father, he's lying on the floor. He's no longer breathing. It's 6.35. If I'd gotten here earlier, he'd probably still be alive. Now I hold my father's lifeless body in my arms as if time has stopped. It's 6.36. My bloodshot eyes look up at the clock. It still ticks.